Are you dreaming of creating a backyard paradise this summer? If you are, the good news is that you can not only do it yourself, you can also incorporate the hottest outdoor trends while staying on budget. Join me now as I discuss how and more with HGTV host and celebrity carpenter Kate Campbell. TV celebrity carpenter Kate Campbell is defying stereotypes. She's one of the stars of the HGTV home improvement show Decked Out and Disaster Decks and founder of Kate Builds. Recently, Kate tackled her own home renovation and is showing homeowners that they too can build their own ideal outdoor living space regardless of skill level. Kate joins me now from her home near Toronto to show us how and to fill us in on the latest trends of outdoor living. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Now, first, Kate, outdoor living and entertaining has been popular for years now. But what are people doing now that's different from previous seasons? I think one of the biggest things is the change in mindset that outdoor living is seasonal. So homeowners are incorporating into their design a more of a year-round outlook and incorporating things like outdoor cabinetry and outdoor lighting and hot tubs. But cabinetry is one of those things that I absolutely love and it's one of my favorite things that I incorporated into my own outdoor space. Trex makes incredible storage and outdoor cabinetry that looks like indoor kitchen cabinetry, but it's made for the outdoors for all of your barbecue utensils and toys and anything that doesn't really have a, a home. Now it gives those things a home and a purpose and it looks great as well. So we're really focused on extending that living space and making it purposeful. Absolutely, I love it. Now you shared about your cabinets there. Now you're a professional contractor and your renovated space is um, gorgeous and quite impressive. Now is this really something that a homeowner can do on their own? Absolutely. I think a deck is a great DIY project for a homeowner, especially if you have a couple hand tools and basic power tools like a circular saw and a drill. And maybe, for instance, you have an existing structure with some pressure treated boards and it needs a little sprucing up. So a deck resurfacing project is a great DIY project as well. Pull up those old boards and lay some new composite deck boards down. It really spruces up the space and you never have to worry about maintaining it again. Another option is installing a pergola. So I installed a pergola on my own deck. It's a pergola kit from Trex and it shows up with all of the parts that you need and all you have to do is assemble it. And last but not least, if you don't have the budget for a big backyard makeover, maybe just add some new outdoor pillows or outdoor furniture as well. Those are some great tips there. Now you talked about resurfacing a deck. Now for homeowners like me who don't already have a deck but want to build one, what are some of your recommendations for starting from scratch and completing the project properly? I always say plan, 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 plan ahead. And one of your biggest decisions is going to be what you choose for your decking and really deciding how much time and money you want to spend on maintaining that decking. With a traditional wood deck, you have to sand and stain or paint it about every other year. And that's a lot of time and a lot of maintenance. And that to me, that makes composite decking a no-brainer. So you, you basically install it and you don't have to worry about it again. It won't rot, warp, crack, or mold. It looks beautiful. It cleans up with some soap and water and really all you have to do is enjoy it. That's good and great to know. Now you mentioned a, a couple of tips earlier about um, some smaller things you can do if you're on a budget. In regards to the rest of the outdoor space, what are some other tips and advice do you have to transform a basic backyard into one that truly feels like home and is perfect for entertaining? I always love incorporating things like, uh, if you're on a budget, outdoor curtains. or It, it adds a, a layer of privacy and a little bit of a design aesthetic as well. And don't forget about landscaping because landscaping really adds that green factor to really perfect your outdoor space. So from going from low maintenance composite decking to all of the bells and whistles to really create that perfect outdoor oasis. Excellent advice there. 
And now, Kate, your staff and industry has also created a lot of buzz. Um, what inspired you to go into building and construction? And do you have any advice for other women who are interested in the field itself or even women who just want to take charge of their own home renovation projects? Definitely. I was always very active as growing up and I loved being creative and working with my hands, but it wasn't until I picked up a power tool that I really realized that I was passionate about building and wanted a career in the trades. And I was intimidating walking onto job sites at, sites at first and I felt the need to be perfect. So my advice to other women is to really push past that fear and don't be afraid to make mistakes because mistakes, mistakes are how you learn and really just to embrace whatever you're passionate about, especially around the house. I love being able to fix things up around my own home. And this career path has been the best decision of my life. So just push through it, ask questions, make mistakes, and really embrace it if you can. Excellent advice there. Thank you for sharing that with us. And lastly, Kate, where can people learn more about everything that we discussed today? I always say use your resources. So trex.com was a wonderful resource for me as I was building my own outdoor space. They've got a wonderful inspiration gallery. There is a cost calculator and a color visualizer, a deck planning tool. And last but not least, there's even a way to order product online, sample product delivered right to your door. Perfect, thank you so much for that. And again, for more information on everything we discussed today and even some of the things that Kate featured here today, you can visit trex.com. Thank you so much for joining me, Kate. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a great day.